Ken Brown, your final ever game here at the bowling ground. How, how emotional are you feeling? I can't put it into words. Uh, I still can't believe it. Honestly, can't. I was brought up here, dragged up here, if you like, and uh, had the best years of my life here. Nothing, you know, within weeks or so, ain't going to be here anymore. I just can't believe it. Honestly, I can't. When you look back at your memorable career here, oh. there's so many magical moments. Uh, are there ones that stand out for you? All of them. I, you know, coming into the into the ground early days with a fella called Dick Walker, who uh, who schooled me, if you like, of, of how to approach football in, in a way. And uh, I've never ever forgotten him. And then lots of other people at the club that have all added interest and nothing but enthusiasm for myself and uh, just trying to do well all the time and, and whenever I come away I, I could never say that I'd done enough if you know what I mean because it's uh, for me club in a million and you had years. such a great relationship with, with the West Ham fans here was it the ultimate when you were named Hammer of the Year <laughs> well <laughs> that, that again I, you know, it's, uh, it's something that I, I didn't expect and uh, obviously look back on now, fully appreciate. You know, it's, uh, but it don't matter what anybody says, they won't take my memories away from this place. Yeah, of course, of course. Of course. You look over your shoulder, some of those famous teammates you played with. Oh, I don't know, don't tell What me. was it like no. being in that team? Oh, was all of them, even from, from day one. You know, it was, and my mentor was Dick Walker. Now, Dick Walker, I thought encouraged me with it to to how to behave as, as a footballer. He, everybody loved Dick Walker, and um, I was always trying to live in his steps. Yeah. So it's easy as that. Yeah. yeah. And we look at that picture, and and, and, and you see Ronnie Boyce is obviously yeah. here today, and that, that man on the far right, Bobby Moore. Oh, well, I mean, he was different class. Moro was different class, I tell you. It was at, at one time, you know, they thought he wasn't going to make it. And uh, seeing them come through the youth team and everything else, I thought, he's never ever going to be quick enough or something like that. I tell you what, he never ever got found out. His, he was a two or three, four, five faults ahead of anybody that he was playing against. He was, he was an incredible player, incredible. And a, an absolute privilege to play next to, obviously. Made my life far oh, so easy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when you leave this afternoon and you look back at all those those memories, is it the atmosphere that the family is together here at, at the bowling ground? I, I, would, th I would think it's, it's, it's a chip of everything that's connected with West Ham. Um, from the early days, as I say, with, with Dick Walker and, and his education, and me, or as far as I know, it was, and, and then the people that followed and everything else, and then, then the wonderful managers that, that, that came here that, that put ideas into our heads. Ron Green was unbelievable. And, and oh, I, used to, I, I never ever thought I was good enough to play uh, with Ron Greenwood because he had so many brainwaves of perfection, if you like, that, that um, I thought I could never live up to that. You know, it, was, it was that type of person and, and the effect he had on me. So it was always a, I've got to do well today. You know, it was one of those jobs every time. And not just for you, obviously, your son Kenny had a, had a great career here and, well, <laughs> and both of you had, had a great relationship with the fans, didn't you? <laughs> well, it was really because uh, when, when Kenny matured and, and came through and everything, um, my coach, you know, he said to me, you know, you should sign him. So I said, who? Oh. So he said, Kenny. So there's no mate here when I was down. So I said, no, don't be dummy. And uh, he said, yeah, he's good enough. I said, no, he's not. No, he's, he's not. <laughs> and we had a, a, a right disagreement, but I did sign him, and, and then, oh, it's, then West Ham came in for him as well, which, whew, I'd have paid West Ham to take him, never mind about him paying us. <laughs>